Welcome back everybody to Operation Overhaul and as always please like subscribe and hit the notification bell and even leave a comment if you feel like it but today we're going to be doing the cylinder head preparation and we're going to actually install the ARP head studs the heads and the valve train so let's go ahead and get to it so the first thing I'm going to be doing is switching all the studs from the old head to the new head that hold all the brackets and water crossover pipes and all that stuff and as you can see I'm using a stud puller and this right here has the Teflon rings on the inside on this one and it lets you take them out without marring up the threads on it and they work pretty good so if you do a lot of stud replacements and stuff like that I recommend using this one right here because it does work very well when I was swapping them over I did them one at a time to make sure they were in the right location there's going to be two on the front of the head for the brackets and then I think there's two on the intake portion of the head on the corners for the nuts and I did swap over all the bolts too I just like to keep everything in the right location that way I don't get anything mixed up and I know where everything goes There should be four dowel pins you're going to have to move from the old head to the new head as well. There should be two for the rocker arm assembly and then two for the lower valve cover which holds the uh, gasket in place so you can put the valve cover on. When you install the new dowel pins on the head you'll notice where they go there's going to be two recessed areas and I just used a small hammer and tapped them in until they bottomed out. You will hear a sound difference once they are fully seated. So when you buy these aftermarket heads, they'll fit either the right or the left side. And to dictate which orientation you want to put it in, uh, it has the same castings on this side and that side for the water jackets. And you need to, whichever one you want to put it on, you need to put the plugs in on the right side. And make sure you do it right, because if you don't, you'll have to go and buy new ones. And like I did, I just laid the head up there and put it in the same position to make sure that everything lined up correctly. But to put these in, I'm going to put a little bit of like a gasket sealer around this edge right here on both of them. And we'll clean them off first and then put that a little bit around there and knock them in with an appropriate socket that fits inside of there. And before I put the head on too, I'm going to put all of these um, blow plugs sorry, in. And if you want to know, here's the AC Delco part number. And I bought all brand new ones to put in because, I mean, it's just easier to do it at this point. And the last ones I took out were the originals with the old head. So he decided to go ahead and put the new ones in. Here you can see me applying a thin layer gasket maker around the edge of the plug before I tap it in. I do this just to ensure that it gets a good sealing surface and that there are no leaks in the future. What I'm using to tap the plugs in there is a deep socket that fits snug next to the beveled edges or the rolled edges on the inside. This way you make sure whenever you're tapping it in it isn't pushing too much just on the center and can't actually curl the edges in. They're just sitting there flush is all I'm going to set them in. I ain't going to recess them in any more than that. 
So what I did here was I cleaned out the threads <clears throat> with a tap and made sure there was no trash, no water or anything in them. And then I cleaned off all the head studs and I put thread lube on the studs, like a little bit of oil. I didn't use the lube that come with the head studs. You put that right here and you put it on the nuts and the washers. But I did put a little bit of oil on the bottom thread so they would thread in right and get the correct torque. And then I slid the head gasket over top of that to hold it in place. And it does have the dial pins in where the two positions on the front and the back. And in just a second, I'm going to lower the head onto it and I'll show you how everything goes. On the driver's side, I will show you exactly what I did with those. It's just I forgot to film it. But on the driver's side, I have read that you have to put the head on first, then put the head studs in through the head because you can't uh, put the head on because of all the wiring, the brake booster, and the steering column. Because all that will get in the way, but I will show you that once I get the head on. ARP supplies lube with every one of their kits and this one right here I'm lubing up the washers right here before I install them. I'm going to do them one by one just to make sure every one of them is lube before I put them on there because you don't want any of them going on dry and you're going to do the exact same thing with the nuts as you hand tighten them on. First thing you need to do is just screw them down hand tight. You don't have to do them in a specific order for hand tight. But once you actually start applying any kind of torque to them, you really need to go in a specific orientation. And the ARP kit comes with the torque specs and which bolts to do in what order. Just if you don't have the sheet, all you have to do is just go from the inside out in a circular motion. And most of the time it goes clockwise. For these bolts, the final torque would be 125 foot-pounds. And for the smaller M8 bolts, it's going to be 25 foot-pounds. These smaller bolts are going to be a 10 millimeter and the larger ones are 17 and they are 12 point so you will need to use 12 point sockets and that's what I got right here. It's a new set that I just bought and I'm going to be doing a review on them. They are impact rated. They're from SunX and I will have a video up on those in my new tool haul video so keep an eye out for that. It's going to be coming up soon. Or it may even be before this one, so I don't know which one yet. But I will do a review after I've used them for a while. <clears throat> for the first step, I will be going at 60, then 90, then the final 125. And like I said, here is the bolt torque sequence that they give you. And I will be going off of that. And as you can see, the M12 is a 125 final. And the M8s are 25. And from everything I've read, you can do all the M12s first. And then you can go back and torque down the M8s. As they're only uh, 
pretty much a hold down they're not really like putting any pressure more towards the top and this is just from what I've read from other people who's installed them I'm applying a small amount of similar lube to the tips of the push rods and onto the valves. This way, whenever it starts up, it doesn't start up dry because this is a new set of heads and it's got new valves and valve springs in it. So it's not good to dry out anything before it even begins. When installing the rocker arm assembly, be careful and make sure that it seats properly around the dowel pin. If you don't do this, whenever you go to tighten it down, you can either crack the spacer is on the assembly or you can even damage the cylinder head. In the video you can see that I'm using an electric ratchet to tighten it down but I am going in order and in a specific order actually so it brings down the assembly in an even pattern. If you enjoyed the video please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to know when my next video will be up. Thank you for watching and have a great day.